so hey guys what's up and best ready here and welcome back so this tutorial will be in a two part first part i will cover how you can model the stone and how you can make a little cool animation and post on your instagram or social media and in the second part we'll bring the level one step further and we will create a, a group of stone where we will use some animation techniques to create cool animation and also we will use that stone to compose it in a live footage so on screen you can see so be with me and by the end of the tutorial you will have a complete knowledge about how you can create some stone or crystal inside element 3d and how you can create some cool animation and how you can compose that stone or any object just like these into your live footage so without any more delay let's get started the tutorial after this nps 3d intro Alright, so first we will jump inside the blender and this is a complete free program you are comfortable you can start with me otherwise if you are using any other programs like 3ds max maya or maybe a cinema 4d you can use that no worries press shift a go to the mesh and i will create a icosphere and on here i will just down the subdivision to one and maybe i can bump the radius to maybe two and that's it this is our stone tab to go inside the edit mode and then i'll press one and uh, this is the front view and then i'll press i can press one two three to switch between vertex edge and face mode so i'll select the vertex uh, i will select the vertex and i will press z z and move it to step down and same i will do for this one g z and then i will press 2 to select the edge and i will sl select the edge manually by pressing shift and clicking and then i will bring this z z bring it little closer like this and same i will select this one perfect z z and little close like this. so if you want you can leave this stone here this looks good but we will refine it even more so i will select this modifier tab and i will enable the bevel modifier so now i can turn down the amount little because i just want a little bevel on every edges and maybe i will increase the segment to maybe six and that's it looks good for now and then i will go to the modifier tab again and i will add a subdivision surface modifier and then simply i will add a displace modifier here and i will click on this button new click here and here i will choose the clouds and now i will just maybe uh, bump it little like this and again i will uh, go to the gear icon and i will add one more subdivision surface and i will make it two so basically i am displacing my stone so it will look more believable and on here i will make it two also so it will give more vertex so i can add more detailing displace and i will just turn down the amount of displacement like this this looks cool and again i will come over here and maybe i can bump i can down it so i can two is pretty good for this stone and then in the end what i will do more i will add a modifier i mean modifier and here i will use a simple default so you can see by default it's twisting my geometry and whatever format i want i can twist it if i want bend i can bend it but i want twist in x direction looks good y is also looking good but so this is it and this looks okay and i'll right click set smooth and what else i can do i can add a decimate modifier and make it point five so in this way if you will see here everything is done let's uh, apply one by one select it go to the file export web form obj and here i will make a stone to this model for download also so check out my video description Export obj and that's it i'll jump inside the after effect on here i will create a new composition and this will be for a stone i will create a effect called element 3d you can check this effect on video copilot go to the scene setup and here i will go to the file import and 3d object and here I will load my stone and just click on this normalize size hide the grid so this is good and what else i can do here you can see the vertices and faces so i will select the stone and i will make the optimize mesh check the on so it will reduce some of the vertices let me show you how i created my stone so i will right click new material apply here select this material and first i will use some maps i downloaded this from megascan so i will simply drop the texture into the glossiness and same texture 
for the normal bomb so now first hide this normal bomb and see what's going on on the glossiness so on here you can see the glossiness is 100 percent pretty good and i'll bump the intensity of reflectivity and this is looking like a stone right perfect stone but i want to make like a stone or crystal so i will go to the glossiness and here i can play with the brightness i can play with the contrast and also i can you know just play with this whole texture so i don't want to create a, a fingerprint patches all around so i just want in some part there is a, you know you can so i will select the stone go to the uv mapping and make it box now i have a little small patches and what else i can do i can even make it very less very less looks okay to me then let's change the diffuse color to uh, maybe like purple and then in the reflectivity i will choose the similar uh, in my strategy what i uh, accepted i mean what i utilized i if you will use the diffuse and reflectivity color or only one uh, color it will not give you the look of stone so that's why i decided to add a uh, color in uh, diffuse and also on the reflectivity and also on the refraction so i will increase the refraction you, you can see now so let me make it zero so this is the diffuse color which is the base color on the top of this color there is a color also called reflectivity there is a two color this purple and pink and on top of this i am also applying one more color which will be little uh, like purple is called refraction so probably if you uh, ever seen a stone so there is a not enough parameter to create a exact similar stone which we seen inside any 3d program but this is the thing which i did to make look like stone because you know the stone uh, the crystal has some uh, various uh, types of uh, color and on on the glossiness maybe i can just down the glossy this way pretty good and on here illumination i will make it use diffuse color and increase the intensity increase the final value like this way looks good and looks okay okay for me add an environment for environment i downloaded a picture from hdri polygon heaven or yeah, something like that i'll put the link so don't forget to check out my video description this i will drag and drop it here and now i will just uh down the gamma value and uh, i will add a contrast just a bit so this looks good to me and this looks like a crystal and then i will duplicate this model and also i'll duplicate this material and i will apply here and maybe i can rename this to the wireframe uh, come back to the wireframe mode here and i will enable it first let me hide this so i can see clearly and then i will change the line to white and then i will increase the funnel value and now i will enable this and i will press r to scale and just make it little not too much just a little so that i can see both at the same time and on here down the width little bit and also maybe i can make it to the screen or maybe down the force opacity additive or maybe screen i'll make the fill more to the lines only so basically i am just making the stone and at the same time i just want to wires so this looks good right this looks good to me for now and what else i can do i can uh, maybe come over here and change this to maybe change additive select the stone and make the reflection mode to spherical and same i'll do for this wire also so this is all it i will hit okay and then i will create a new adjustment layer or maybe on here i will uh, first create a new group null and then i'll press ctrl shift h to c and press r to rotation go to the four second press n and on the starting i will add a keyframe on the y direction and in the end i will make it one so now it will animate like this pretty good right but let me show you how we can uh, make it even more good so i will select the uh, element 3d layer rename it to element 3d and then here i can go to the go to the render settings physical environment and on here i can you know just bump the gamma up little bit to create some highlights so before after 
and uh, maybe if I want I can just rotate the environment if you want you can add some extra uh, your lighting in in case if you want so let's suppose I want cinema lighting and then in the end I will use a uh, effect called deep glow which will sell this effect pretty well and into input mode I will increase the threshold so it will not apply glow everywhere it will apply glow only the highlighted part so if you want you can stop it anywhere and I will just down the exposure a little bit and maybe I can bump the radius even more and this is pretty much it what I did to create the stone pretty good right so uh, if you want you can add uh, some new uh, adjustment layer sharpen effect and make it 25 looks pretty good so add motion blur in your scene all right so this is it it for the one part wait for the second one and don't forget to watch the second part because in the second part we will uh, i will show you how you can make some even more cool animations and how you can compose the stone into real life Thanks for watching this tutorial. I am NPS3D and I will see you next time. This is it for now. Bye bye.